five two-a-day workouts a week. Strong faith. And a plant-based diet. All help Will Powell as he prepares to take on the top 20 world-class CrossFit competitors his age. It's real important to me. It's real important to a lot of people that follow me, people that look to me for inspiration. Um, I had already made that commitment to CrossFit headquarters, and I thought that it may be best for me to go ahead and compete this year. The 57-year-old Greensboro man made that decision about four weeks ago. That's when he learned about this a grapefruit-sized tumor growing on his lungs. It was devastating. I, I just have to be honest about that. When you know, um, you know, I'm I'm a Christian, and I uh, I believe that um, I believe in God's will, but uh, you know, you have this self-preservation about you that um, bothers you when you think, okay, this could be life-threatening. The surgeon who uh, who is going to do the uh, removal. Um, suspects that it could have been in there growing for 30 years. Almost as long as he's had a family of his own. It's rare to see, I guess, that big of a tumor um, uh, in, in, in the lungs and it not be cancer, to tell you the truth. Powell's doctor is optimistic. With him not really having any significant symptoms um, and being very uh, clinically stable and, and no uh, other tissue involvement or organ involvement, coming from this particular area was very, uh, all were very positive signs. She cleared him to compete in the August games. He's definitely a, just a, a miracle in terms of uh, the expectations that you would see of that type of diagnosis. Those he's competing against are up for a challenge. This three-time CrossFit champion plans to give it his all. I'm gonna really um, do everything that I can with the resources that I have. to put on the best performance. Powell says the tumor does cause shortness of breath during his workouts. By the way, the competition wraps up Sunday. Three days later, doctors will remove the tumor. Powell hopes it's benign and that the recovery process isn't long, but he's been continuing to work out through all of this. It's tough. What I, a draw. Yes, and I bet he comes back better after yes. that surgery. Imagine him competing next year mm -hmm. without that shortness of breath. Yeah. But they think about the mental strength that this yeah. guy's got to have to to put that aside to to focus on what's arguably an incredibly tough task. Yeah, he's he just, says he's grounded in faith, and that's a, that's sure. a big part of his life, and that's what's helping him. Great story. Yeah, yeah best of luck.